Uh, good morning, KL7L here. We're, uh, well, I am playing with a V beam, one of my favourite uh, HF and low VHF antennas. Nice and simple. Uh, we've got a, an MFJ tuner um, at 50 ohms and the uh, V beam which you won't be able to see but it goes uh, open wire up about 60 feet through the trees and one leg goes down to that tree and another one goes to that tree. Internal angle between the two wires is about 54 degrees and it's beaming 034 degrees true over the mountains you can see in the far side which is not a good direction it's far to the west of where it needs to be but it's just testing uh, using open wire feeder approximately ha -ha, uh, five to six hundred ohms and we're coming down into this old and I do mean old uh, RH MIMS 600 ohm ballon um, one kilowatt made in the UK and Leatherhead. I don't think they are still working now. now. And approve, excuse the noise, an F22 going above me at the moment. And um, this ballon has a lot of history to it. In fact, this was used on the Transglobe expedition, which was the first circumnavigation of the globe uh, via both North, North and South Poles by Sir Ranulf Fiennes. Oliver Shepard uh, and Charlie and uh, I, I used this uh, in the up at the North Pole in 1982 um, and it's still going in fact I got two of them this is the, uh, the second one which I just want to show you how rugged and heavy it is it probably weighs about 20 pounds so my arm's telling me but uh, VDR 03A 1614 1.5 to 32 megahertz. Um, not perfect setup here. We come out at 50 ohms and into a very short section into the uh, one kilowatt plus MFJ tuner. Um, I don't like this section here. I would prefer that to be also shorter although I don't think for any of the frequencies I'm I'm using this this lossy section here isn't going to be too bad but it, it tunes fine so 600 ohm on this open wire feeder it's a balanced antenna into the MIMS and then 50 ohms plus or minus haha whatever the uh, the conversion factor is and it's tuned out by the MFJ power comes up to power the MFJ on the internal side of the uh, the coax, and this is RG213, which uh, snakes away nearly 350 feet to the, the shack. Um, so the V-beam, uh, nice and simple, about 180 feet uh, per leg. I wonder if you can actually see it. Oh, there it is. Uh, uh, goes down to the top of that tree. And the other leg, well, that's the support wire, where it is. Oh, the other leg goes through the top of those trees over there, about 60 feet up, I suppose. And it's, uh, it's okay. I'm using it on 10 megs at the moment. And the only place that it's actually any good or better than my dipole is uh, down to Australia, which is the basically the intersect angle uh, north, uh, east and southwest. As you can see it's greening up here in Alaska and we're going to do another tour of the uh, the hex beam in a few minutes and see how that's fared another Alaskan winter. All the best from uh, Alaska where it's greening and before this helicopter arrives and takes the audio out 73 KL7L.